Hey everybody, I'm back now with the second part, which is rinsing. So in my uh, earlier video, I washed with a, uh, a washboard and uh, I took some pictures because it shows up better, I think, with a picture. Um, you'll have to check out my blog, which is blackberrypatchhomestead.com. Um, I'll post links to the videos and some of the pictures on the site. Um, I'm not exactly savvy with YouTube at this point, so... Um, um, it might seem a little bit just disjointed and that's the reason why but I dumped my dumped my wash water um, and hung the pants a little bit to get them to dry not to dry to drain um, one of the things when I first moved here was that we have a well and the well water here is hard it's probably not super hard compared to other places but it's hard enough it's not treated water at all um, and where we had come from in Florida, we definitely had treated water. So um, soap and everything behaves differently because it's a chemical reaction. Sorry about that. I had 2077 show up. So anyway, um, getting back to the uh, water situation with hard water here is that um, I had to learn that when you wash laundry, you have to use a lot more soap because the minerals that are inside the water um, are free floating and they will basically when you put soap in it the soap binds to the minerals and then you don't have enough soap left in the water in order to um, clean your clothing and um, so even though you're kind of rinsing your clothes your clothes are not actually being laundered the way that you would traditionally think of it and so you have to put in more soap in order to soften the water so that then there's enough soap soap left over to get into your clothes and bind with the dirt to be able to lift it and remove it. So that was something I ended up having to learn. But one of the things on the flip side that's nicer, I think, in um, um, rinsing your clothes is that because it's so easy to, to grab the, the soap molecules, the water is more uh, ready to do that. Um, when you rinse, you can rinse your clothes really clean. You don't end up having, to a large extent, you don't have uh, soap residue um, left inside the clothing. You can get like scudge on top of the clothes, but that has to do, I think, with the washing machine that I in particular have. Um, the clothes don't tumble. They don't, they don't, um, uh, they're not able to, to rinse as clean. Uh, they're not able to move as freely and therefore they don't rinse as, as easily. So anyway, I just got some water. Um, Put a little bit of vinegar in it. I have found that that actually helps as well with uh, being able to help remove the soap and any lingering dirt. Um, and yeah, um, my rinse water is still pretty dirty at this moment. Um, so I will do this probably twice. I'm not, my goal for this is not to get the pants spick and span clean. It's basically almost like a pre-wash. Um, I'm going to let them go ahead and, and soak and, uh, and, and rinse and then dry. And then once I'm done with that, um, they're going to be laundered the way that they would normally be laundered. So, um, this is just one of the methods that, you know, when you're, when you're in a new environment and you have things that you've not necessarily experienced before, um, you have to kind of, you know, uh, just, you know, critically think and try and figure out what you need to do. Um, and the next video that I'm going to pop up is about this little handy gadget right behind me. Um, I got this years ago. Um, it's the Homesteader uh, uh, drying rack, and I'll do a separate video in it because I think it is, it is super, super handy. Um, thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon. Bye.